Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So we're gonna get into some One Piece manga chapter 915 called Bakura Town or Bakura Town. I don't know which one. The, yeah, last time we went to Okobore Town and now we're running into Bakura Town to save Tama from Batman and Gazelle Man and whatever other gifters that we see. And on the cover page, I'm pretty sure now we see the front side, it's Bellamy, and it says, Tales of the Self-Proclaimed Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet, Volume 43, Side Story, A Pirate's Retirement, The the Dyed Goods Craftsman, Bellamy. Alright, so, I mean, he didn't say he was going to join, like, our pirate fleet, but he did take one of the Vivre cards, and he's like, just in case, you know. But here, he's painting a pirate ship. Now, it's not complete, like... Is he gonna draw the Luffy straw hat on it? I mean, like, the top of it doesn't seem like enough to draw it on the uh, Jolly Roger. But, you know, he's so far he's only got the skull and bones. And I guess he messed up a few times. The teacher, the sensei, the master just like hit his head twice. And there's like a little girl over there. So, I don't know, last chapter it, sent, it said he went back to some town. I, I don't even remember. I didn't go back. But there was like windmills and a flat and lots of flags there. I don't know, we gotta see for the next cover story, but let's get back into the story. I wanna see what happens. Wano Country Kuri Bakura Town, damn it. Great sumo wrestler tournament. So, so we get introduced back to the samurai. No, he's not a samurai. Back to the sumo wrestler, like he disappeared last episode. Like I think uh, Okiku was talking about it, but like I was kinda like just talking about something else that she mentioned. And there's a picture of Zoro. It's, I, re I retreated earlier because of that weird aura that Ronin had. I absolutely want to make Okiku my wife no matter what it takes. Now, I feel like, you know how last chapter I was like, oh, what if she's a dude disguised as a female? But I think it's more traditional. It's more desirable to have a boy. So then maybe like her father in like, oh my gosh, it's not a boy. I'm going to raise her up. To be a dude that's why the way she addressed herself in the honorifics of i in the samurai form is manly like i'm not sure if there's like a female version or if it's only like a male version for the samurai i like no knowledge about all that anyway so he d he still wants to make okiku his wife and he's dreaming of how i'm hoping like okiku you know they said tsuru and okiku like they barely just came like okiku came a month ago tsuru she just came and okiku like she even had like a little like guidebook thing to help her out so she doesn't really know the surrounding area anyways back to the topic samurai i mean i keep calling him a samurai he's a sumo wrestler his name was urashima or something i have my social standing my fame and safe food to provide for her there's no way she can reject me oh going back to what i was thinking i'm hoping that maybe okiku is some like higher up maybe she was hiding her whole life and then now she gets to like come, I don't even know, I'm just thinking like she's really big for her size, like how real samurais are. You know how like Kinemon, when you see them, like they're huge, like they're like just as tall as Brooke and I'm pretty sure Brooke is eight feet tall or nine, I forgot, but he's really tall. And what if like she's related to Kinemon? I don't know. Anyways, I keep going off topic. Sumo wrestlers just eating a whole bunch of rice. Like, you never, whenever you see, like, go, like, they're just eating, like, rice. Like, one little bowl of rice can fill you a lot. Like, they're eating, like, mountains of, like, rice in a bowl. Like, that's just crazy for me to imagine. He's talking to, and I can't even tell if that's an animal or an object, but there's, like, a raccoon in front of him. But the raccoon is just an animal. But anyways, he's talking to something, someone can't really see and he's like don't worry about something so useless you idiot and he's like what you say she's from the town of leftovers right the people there are low-class individuals who aren't allowed to enter orochi's territory squeak 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 you should take her so it's a mouse right i mean it kind of looks like a mouse its ears look like you know when you tie it like a knot like when you tie the shoelace and you got like the little bow yeah so i think it's a little mouse some mouse and he, the mouse is like, you should just take her by force and burn her house down. Damn, like she moved here like, a, and, but you know, she's still a samurai. So I, I'd i love to see him do something stupid and Okiku just like cut him down. <laughs> okay, he is bigger than I thought he was and he looks nasty. He's a mouse man. So he's one of the gifters, the sumo wrestler. His motive is to marry Okiku. So he's just like, oh, I'll do whatever it takes. So, I mean, he probably knows like the mouse man works for Kaido the officials working in the government and whatnot so yeah gifters mouse man mouse smile user oh, 
he just looks disgusting. And he's like holding some chopsticks. And he's like, hell, you could even kill her entire family so that she doesn't even have a home to return to. All you need to do is ensure she cannot survive without you. You have samurai blood in your veins. This country has a clear social hierarchy, you know. And he's just, eh. A national superstar athlete such as yourself. No, I think that's not still hockey. A national superstar athlete just as such as yourself, doesn't need to show restraint in dealing with the lower class. You just set up bad examples for others. He he he, I guess you're right. And, oh my god, he just wasted a whole bunch of food. He, like, I was just thinking maybe he accidentally dropped it. No, it looks like he just slapped, he slapped himself in the stomach and, you know, the rice tumbled down. He's like, I can definitely feel, I can, de- I definitely can do whatever I want with Okiku. And the elders are like, Yokozuna, did our offering not suit your taste? I see a raccoon dog over there. Yes, it's been our pet for many years. Cook it and feed it to me, huh? I, somehow I get the feeling, you know how Chopper is always mistaken for a raccoon dog? You know, somehow he's going to see Chopper like, I want to eat that. <laughs> I don't know. I love raccoon dog meat. Holy crap. Chopper, get ready. And, you know, Chopper's be like, no, I'm a Tonakai. I'm a reindeer. Chopper's going to have to stay in his reindeer form because it makes him look cooler. And, you know, the dude won't really mistake him for a, a raccoon. Anyways, back at Bakura Town at a certain residence, as expected, you brought her here quickly. Gazelle Man, she's the one, right? So they want her because she can, like, control the, the baboons, right? But is there an ulterior motive? Um, and Gazelle Man is super tired. The gifters have like the two horns at the top of them. So it distinguishes them from like other ozone types. And they can't transform properly. So they're only like part zone. Anyways. Oh poor child. She looks like she's about to cry. Huff huff. It's her damn birthday of course. And she's like. Wait I think she's like six, eight. I keep thinking she's like six. But I think she's eight. And she's like. Whiz whiz. I ain't gonna cry. Huh, tough it out. And Gazelle Man, <laughs> it's just so funny, Gazelle Man, Batman, Mouse Man. Whiz, huff, huff, whiz. My side hurts. Whiz, huff, 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 whiz. And it looks like he's talking to a lion. <laughs> My first thought is, um, oh shoot, I can't remember the dude's name from A Thriller Bark, the one who tried to kidnap Nami. But, I mean, it shouldn't be, right? I think this is just some, like, lion gifter captain. And he's like, like, that's enough. Get out of the way, gazelle man. Your constant wheezing is annoying. Why is he so tired? And he's got like those Okama stock leggings. Or he's like, whiz, 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 whiz. You need to work on your endurance, you fool. <laughs> it's so ironic because, you know, gazelles. Oh, all right. So he took off the mask or whatever. And I wasn't talking to you. Okay, so the lion was just like a wall ornament or whatnot. Huh? Stop staring at my face all the time. Wait, so he's a beast pirate headliner. Hold on, the lion smile user. All right. So is the lion thing a part of his head or like, is it like a separate? Because like its eyes changed before it was like normal and then like it looked like it's like shooting, popping out. Anyways, ah, he's so scary, and she starts crying. He has a lion coming out of his... He has a lion coming out of his stomach? All right. No, can that, that's different. I think it's, like, two different... It looks like two different face... Like, you know, his, like, head on top of his... His face on top of his head, and then the face on the lion. The lion part is growling. Why are you looking at me so defiantly? And it takes out his claw, and it punches him in the privates, in his balls, <laughs> and just like whack <laughs> um ouch <laughs> yeah there it is the lion's bullseye shot and he's growling i mean like since the lion is part of him like he's just hurting himself like they're the one being but two parts growl and they're both hurting <laughs> but they both share the same body so his crotch also belongs to the lion why won't the beast learn master hold him what should we do with the girl probably gonna lock her up in a cell the stomach lion's like answer this child how did someone like you manage to tame that baboon all on your own just being nice she's silent my subordinates my subordinates saw you do it you must have the power of an actual devil fruit yeah we have 
Well, she never confirmed what her devil fruit is called. I mean, we saw her like take out mochi balls, and I think someone in the last chapter asked me, was like, "Wait, um, Katakuri already has like the mochi mochi devil fruit, so maybe she has like some fruit devil fruit, or maybe she has like, you know, rice devil fruit. Uh, it, it probably not rice. If, if it was rice, yeah, so, you know, some special devil fruit. But the prob main thing is she better she shouldn't tell him, but." She's a kid, what she, and she remembers her master saying, Otama, the power of yours is very useful to the enemy. That's why you mustn't use your powers in front of the others. I, I'm just really good with animals, that's all. Hmm. They definitely said that you pulled something off your cheeks. And he's staring at her, well, why don't we test it? Bring me some pliers. Yes, sir, big bro Luffy. Help me, big bro. Tasukete Onichan. Oh my gosh, please make it back in time. They entered these like shrine gates. I don't know exactly what you call it. And yeah, I love their grin. Like Zoro just like ready for action and Luffy just being his like Boken Boken adventure. <laughs> yeah, but save Tama. And Okiku's like, oh Tama, they're riding their Chio, their dog. And they make it into Wano Country Kuni, Byak. I keep, I'm sorry, I keep saying Byakuya. It's Bakura Town's main gate. Tama! And you know, Luffy does his, Tama! We're here to, I, I would yell, but that hurt my throat. And you know, mm, no, Luffy Taro, you mustn't say things so rashly. And you know, the pirates are here. Hey, who are you people? Stop right there. There isn't any record of them leaving the town. Everybody here is working with the ones who kidnap Otama. You know, I already saw Luffy with the eyes, with his ka, like his conquers. Whoa, the animation looks like, to like different. Like, I, I don't want to say sloppy, but sort of like rushed. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe this is just like an effect because like they're going so fast. Like Luffy's eyes just like in an instant and then they just like rush past and she's like, huh? And did you, did you do something? Haki. And how are we supposed to find her? Woof woof. That's a huge komainu. Who does it belong to? It doesn't look like any of them will tell us. But I see people here that don't look like fighters as well. Why is that? Yeah, there's like some geisha, some older people. Hmm. The people living here have been living here their entire lives. Until around 20 years ago, there was an energetic town that stood at the base of the castle. But then Orochi's subordinates began to take whatever houses they liked for themselves. Only essential merchants and tradesmen were allowed to remain. The rest were forced out of town. This is what Bakura Town has become. Hmm? Something is flying towards them, I think. And Luffy grabs it? Oh, someone, like, you know, I guess someone threw this person towards them and Luffy just caught this dude. And Zoro's thinking, hmm, there must be something going on around here. A sumo wrestler comes... A sumo wrestler just came flying this way. Is there a sumo match nearby? Could he really have been blown this far by another sumo wrestler? Wow. All right, so it's the Urashima dude. And he's like, overwhelming strength. I mean, once he sees Zoro, game over, right? Okay, overwhelming strength. He's so strong. As expected, will nobody top him? Will no one be able to take down Urashima? The yo... The Yokozuna of the flower capital? Urashima's so big and so strong! Wano country sumo wrestler? Yeah, Urashima, we already know. We're having a special competition today. Whoever is able to take down Urashima will earn a hefty 500 gold. Gold? What? Gold? I Wait, because, like, you know, I'm used to belly, but, you know, the samurai, the Wano country is closed off from the rest of the world, so maybe they don't use belly? So 500 gold, like a gold bar, like what's the standard currency, just the gold? I mean, we could trade the gold, you know how Nami, like when we, in Skypea, when we found the gold, we like trade it for like 300 million betties. So let's see, having competition, whoever take them down. If there's anyone in the, if there's anyone who is confident in their ability, come and try your luck. He's way too strong. There's no way anybody will be able to go against him. And the dude goes up. Doesn't matter if there's a lot of people in the ring. He's managed to take down 90 people all on his own. We have a perfect plan. We'll claim prize. So two people step up. This announcer dude is like, on the other hand, how many bones has he broken? And an elder, I think he's a doctor, he's like, 10 arms, 15 legs, 52 ribs, 5 skulls, 7 spine. That's 88 broken bones in total. And four contestants are unaccounted for. Alright, so... 
I mean, if Zoro goes in, I mean, like, if Luffy goes, you can imagine Conqueror's Hockey, <laughs> nothing broken, just fainted like that. Uh, anyways, um, oh, wait, like, I don't know what you call the top of that, but it's, like, floating on top of them. Like, is it floating? Like, I don't see anything holding it, so, like, what power is this? Anyways, the sumo wrestler, the sumo wrestling is going on, and there's, like, yeah, there's Urashima, he's huge com- compared to the other sumo wrestlers. Like, the other sumo wrestlers look like, like, little frogs next to him. And, you know, I guess it's, like, uh... Is it three against one, or is it like anything goes? It's his strength is almost inhumane. Take him, take down Urashima. I place my bets on you guys. The undefeated monster, Yokozuna Urashima. Monster Urashima. Hmm? Ready, set, begin! And his eyes pop. I think he sees Zoro in them because, you know, the dog is so big. The Komainu dog is just so big. So, ready, set, begin! I guess, like, unconsciously, he sees Zoro and he's like, oh, he's so scared. He just, like, whacked them all off. Oh, because he sees Okiku. I'm so dumb. Yeah, Okiku. Okiku! And, you know, so you followed me here after all. Have you decided to become my bride? And everyone's, you know, these jealous women, these jealous geishas look back. What do you say? She's going to marry Urashima? What a wild turn of events to think that a woman has already sworn herself to Urashima. What a lucky gal. It's a tale of love at first sight. What a huge scandal. Now, I'd love it if Zoro or Luffy does something and he's like, oh, my, like, rival. But, you know, the, he can't match him. Uh-huh. Okay, she's hiding behind Zoro. I find it so cute. Uh, there's no point in hiding behind me. Um, okay, flashback. He decides everything on his own. Okay, there's a tournament happening in Bakura Town later today. I will. I will show you how cool I can be. Come watch if you're interested. Otama, hang in there. Yeah, all she cares about is... Otama. And Okiku came to see me. You lot, escort her to me. Yes, sir. Big bro, you're much better with the ladies than I thought you were. I admire you even more now, but I should have expected as much. I guess, like, in the sumo wrestling world, like, the bigger you are, the more appealing you are. So, like, all of them are, like, so respectful to this dude, even though, like, I mean, Oka has not consented to any of this. I-, I would love it if, you know, everyone... Luffy always gets all the girls unconsciously, so... As much as, like... I want it to be like, oh, jealous of Zoro, it might be towards Luffy. You know, Luffy still got his sword and he's yelling out loud. Hey, more importantly, we're looking for someone. She's a kid named Tama. Tell me where we can find the boss of this town. She should be with him. That woman, what a vexing Cinderella story. Nobody cares. All they care about is... Did they just steal her right under our noses? What the heck? Zoro! (laughs) Right? What a vexing Cinderella story. She's a bit bigger when compared to a normal woman, but she's perfect for Urashima. And, you know, like, what? How did they get it? Were we not paying attention? When I mean, like, we got, like, the um, exclamation mark, the, like, shocking, you know, signs. Yeah. Hey, Zoro, why'd you let him take her? Cutting down naked men is a bit... <laughs> Zoro, that's not an excuse. Anyways, oh, sh- I wish it wouldn't show, but like I see her with a sword, but I'm trying not to look. Hey, isn't that the girl from the tea house outside? It's impudent for a girl of such low class to enter the town. Really? Chase her out. She's vulgar and inferior. Silence, you filthy commoners. In the eye of the samurai, you're all lower class. Your lives are insignificant. It is I who decide whether you live or whether you die by my hands. Isn't that right, Okiku? Become my wife. And she's going in for a kiss, and she's like, I... Do not know of anyone whom you refer to as lower class. You may think she's lower class, but she's probably most likely not lower class. All we know about her is that she moved to Okobore town like a month ago. Like, where did she come from before that? And even if she came from a lower class place, who is her parents? Who is her lineage? Like, that's what's important. Like, all these, like, women's like, oh my gosh, like, gossiping, like, oh, he likes her. Like, shut the hell up. And she just like, <gasps> the biggest dishonor, she sliced off his top knot. Oh my gosh, there it goes. And he's like, <gasps> oh my gosh, she looks absolutely gorgeous. And she just like, right after the cut, she's like, surely you jest. The only vulgar thing here is your heart. And everyone's like, the yoga's in a top knot. And Luffy's like, awesome, Kiku Janice. 
I imagine Kiku-chan, but he's like, Kiku is so cool! It's getting more interesting now. It's too early to be calling the boss out. A brilliant strive. Next issue, One Piece will have a title color page. All right, wait, let me... Yokozuna is the highest rank of sumo wrestler, similar to a grand champion. Ah, I see, I see. Oh my gosh, I feel like I yelled so much in this episode. I mean, in this chapter, like, I couldn't even yell at the end, like, Oh, Kiku-chan! <laughs> Anyways, um, this chapter... Like, we are still out looking for Otama. Anyways, first off, at the beginning of the chapter, Urashima is just thinking about marrying Kiku, and that's the only thing he's thinking about. He's even talking to one of the mouse men about it, and that dude is just like feeding him up, just like, if you want to, you can get her. And you know, he's thinking about all the nasty, uh, it looks nasty just from the way he, like his tongue is sticking out, and he's like, oh my god, think of all the things I can do to her. And he also emphasized he likes raccoon meat, so chopper look out. And Tama goes to meet Hold'em, the lion smell fruit user, and I guess like before, you know, the line's at the bottom, and I think I see it now, like, he's, the line is looking up, and he's talking, and then, um, Hold'em is like, I'm not talking to you, and I think he's telling Tama, like, stop staring at me, and, you know, Tama's just a little kid, like, a freaky belt, a freaky lion on the face and on your stomach, that's creepy. The lion's not a belt, but it's, like, near his belt, it's, like, stomach area, and, like, the lion, you know, at first, I'm thinking it's separate, but they're together because once he punches his, like, um, crotch area, like, it hurts the both of them. But anyways, they're questioning whether she has a devil fruit and, and how she can control the baboons because pretty sure baboons are really, really strong. Like, maybe there's an extra special huge baboon somewhere else. And maybe there's a bigger size and they're like, oh, she can control it, so let's see if she can. But I'm just really scared of what experiments they're going to do on her because they're like, someone saw you like take some food out of your face so like we want to test it bring the pliers okay how scary does that sound so in this limited time like they're rushing to find Tama but at the same time Luffy's just so happy adventurous that somehow sometimes I see him as like just not focusing but he is focused the whole time he's like where's Tama yelling out loud to uh uh, Bakura town he even uses hockey on some of the people and you like some people look like you know scary pirates and then some other people just look like normal people who are living there and they're kind of like higher middle class I assume and some of them are like merchant traders and uh, we stumble across the um, sumo wrestling match and apparently Urashima has already told Kipku like if you want to like you want to marry me come to this so like when he saw her he was like oh shoot you're here to marry me like yay I'm so happy and like he tossed the other people out of the ring and uh you know they're emphasizing how strong Urashima is how many bones he's broken how many people he took out but I just thought this was like showing like oh Luffy and Zoro is gonna take out hit, take him out like so easy like that's how much difference there is or maybe like Luffy would just use like uh Conker's hockey on them or something but you know sometimes it goes by so fast I love it whenever like Okiku such a huge woman is like standing next to Zoro it's just just I mean Zoro's not like tiny I think Zoro's like almost six feet like 5'11 or something it's just very cute the way she's like oh, hiding behind him yeah, and uh, somehow they manage to steal her, but I guess Luffy is just not paying attention because he's think Luffy's just like, oh, Zoro's protecting her. I don't really need to do anything. But Zoro's just like, uh, with this excuse of cutting down naked men is uh, like, no, Zoro, no, she doesn't need that protection. Once the, one of sumo wrestlers bring her towards him, like she's just like, I don't know who you call in lower class, right? Do you see what she did? She just sliced off his, like, top knot. Such a dishonorment, and I love it. Like, Luzoro standing there like, yeah, she's got it. It's getting interesting. And Luffy's just like, oh, kakoi, so cool. You know, that is such a cool move that she just did. Like, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. And it's like, you know, they're emphasizing, like, the boss hasn't even come out yet. And, you know, oh, so cool. After this... Will he still want to marry her? Will he change into like a sobbing mess? Like, oh my god, you topped, you cut off my top knot. Or will he be like super angry with her? I mean, if he does, I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to marry her, but that's her goal. She doesn't want to marry him. So like cutting that off would be, yeah, like how would everyone else treat her? Will they be like, whoa, Okiku, you committed a sin? Or will they be like, whoa, she defeated him? Or like, what will be their reaction? What will their reaction be? Yeah, I'm curious to find out next chapter. It was very 
interesting chapter. Like, this chapter has been, like, pretty fun and, like, simple. So, like, nothing, like, huge has happened, but, like, it's still, like, entertaining the whole way. So, uh, yeah, please tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll be sure to read them, and see you guys for next reaction. Peace out.